So let's let's think about this. Um, I I generally seem to tend towards the uh, Dominion One guys because they just let you get so many toys. But um, what what do we really want? Let's check out our spells actually. Make sure we can at least cast our summonables. So I think so far we get two more bull. So it looks like that maybe the top two are the ones we can't cast naturally. This guy can cast um the second to last one, but nobody can cast the last one naturally. I think he can become magic. Or he can become up to death three, and this takes death um, five. So it would take a staff and a power, or a staff and like one other magic item to be able to regularly cast Hall of the Dead. Shard fights. Um, two more goals are one of our special dudes, right? Yeah. Um, here we go. Shard lights. 1635. They do have chill. That's pretty cool. I mean, we're gonna go, we're probably gonna um, go up all the way up ice anyways for points. But the, yeah, magic, a magic lave, that's pretty cool. Decent protection. So we do wanna be able to summon these guys. So we, we, it looks like we do want to be able to invest a little bit in death of our Petopreter. And we do want hammers because all of those take hammers. Or earth, I mean. Okay, yeah. I definitely need to get used to summoning more and, like, the undead stuff. So this is, seems like a pretty good nation to help practice that. Maybe a Master Lich? Okay, yeah. Which one transforms into the Demulich? Is that this guy? Or is that the... That's the queen, isn't it? The Lich Queen? I feel like we should at least go Earth 3. Well, no, because he, he has invulnerability. So we would only need, like, one Earth. Or two. I feel like... You don't need to go, like, very hard into candles, but you do want... You do want that. Maybe dump one death. Our dudes are pretty tough, so I don't. We probably don't need a, him awake right away. But 
That does give 130 points. Hmm. How are researchers? 190 for 13 research is a bad. This isn't bad either. Oh, and they give us a resource bonus, huh? Okay. I still want to go uh, to resource. Because everything is so expensive. We did go random cave. Let's check out another dude. Cause I I think we're gonna go dormant. We don't need a god or god awake right away. What of our what of our like I have such a hard like I have such a hard time wanting to take the these Dom 4 guys. Cause you just don't get like they just sit in your capital for the most part. That's that's the feeling I get. They they kind of like seem like a nation where um Yeah. Where you can roll their troops seem good enough you can roll pretty much whatever you want, but uh I think we would benefit from even like um a Titan of the Forge, giving us an extra hammer. Or the Elissa Cyclops. Because the Elissa Cyclops give us, us production. We only have to dip into one more path. Let's check it out. So yeah, that's sacred. The pale ones. So the sepulcher is, the shade whites are not. This guy's just awesome. How much is it to summon the two Morphles? Because we want to make sure we can, like... I think we want, that's one of the things we want to make sure we can spam out, like, every turn. Okay, they're expensive, so you can't spam them out every turn, but... You know, this isn't bad. We'll probably be able to naturally cast, cast it, too. So we don't have to build for it. Um, yeah, so this guy has a pretty good chance of being able to cast it just out of the out of the box. So it's between these two. I think I'm leaning more towards this guy, though. I mean, it would be cool to get up a Forge of the Ancients with your Titan of the Forge. Then you get the 20% bonus plus, what is that? Does that stack like that? That's interesting. And I do want to play with supers more. Let's get this guy out. See what we want. So we want... We do want the investment in death, I think. Or even just, like, death 4. Because we could get ourselves to death 5 pretty easily. Um... If we're going extra hammer oh actually our nation already gives us extra hammers so these guys are kind of a non-bow 
because we can't uh, get up to four. So if that's the case, we want to look elsewhere. Um, even though we want to get our summons, I'm not like too too impressed by, uh, or I'm not too interested in uh, magic scales necessarily. What's power of death? That's funny. So the the value of this ability is the maximum number of deaths that will result in even higher power. So this guy can get up to plus six in these these stacks, and then plus three in MR. Is how I'm reading that. Which makes me think you'd want to take him early to suicide him into barbarians. Yeah. Definitely a weird power. But, you know, you take him death and you can get a bunch of cheap stuff. Um, or a bunch of, like, undead specific stuff for him. And, you know, we have the sacred undeads. But that leaves kind of our blind ones high and dry. Which, for going scales, we don't really want to do, right? Do we have anybody who increases order? So we have this guy and this guy that increase order. So leader of the close counts will do. Siege bonus. Fortune teller. As much as I like was not impressed with uh, the oracle. Having that fortune teller bonus on the oracle was pretty nice. Spirit Sight Invisible Assassin 3. He starts with a head of helmet or a helmet. That's cool. I haven't used invisibility yet. The tooltip seems to be invisible, too. Yeah. I feel like if we go this guy, we would want him to wake to, to like, assassin expand. So that, we'll, we'll put on the list. Um, from what I understand, as long as there's only one commander in the, uh, and the stack, they just run when um, you you go and engage them. At least that's what's happened to, or from what I've seen happen. guy seems too big brain for me right now. The order, the plus one order would be nice. And up Smith does seem pretty bad, this guy. Um, how's this thing amphibian? Right? I don't think there's much that can stop it unless though unless you like go assassinate barbarian that's the only thing i can think of because <laughs> those barbarians that just have a habit of hitting my shit and exploding whatever they hit god or not i was a pillar amphibious i don't get it we'd only be taking him for the order scale though
This guy's chill too. Or chill three. We're already going super cold, so we could go with it with them. Is there anybody that gives us cold scale? I don't know. We don't really want a bunch of cold scale, actually. It does take our income. This guy has a mortality tool and chill three, so he does want cold scale. I, I'm not a big fan of alchemy, especially in late age, because I'm always like I'm already afraid I won't have enough gems to do everything I want to. the extra order he can't use a stick though so let's go six on him what else would we want we could go astral on him That's a pretty big jump. But I feel like the 5% is worth it for the chance of freezing rivers. No, I want this guy. Don't go anywhere. Oh wait, it's death, what, to cast the last one. Death five. So we have death five. Let's go. Check out our blesses. Because we're going to be making blind ones, so we might as well plan for that. They don't need any more helping. Um, or help with defense. Heroism. You know, that's always always good. Especially on, guy, on, our, on guys like this. We don't want to go larger, because then we can fit one less uh, dude in the square. I guess in general you only really want large, uh, larger on like size four guys or um, size six and up, unless they have formation fighter. So magic resist would be nice. So arcane scales. And then how how do they how to fight? Strength eleven, attack thirteen, sixteen damage. They don't have any like magic weapon or extra stuff there. So making a more kill would probably be better. So we go fire. That gets us attack skill. I don't think we're gonna go any glamour. I I think heroism is just too good. In all honesty. It just... It feels bad taking because it's so good. 
Especially, like, if you load up with things to make sure your guys just don't die, like, uh, things like, um, what is it? Unbreakable is good. Like, but, um, recuperation. And if you already have, like, recuperation naturally on your dude or a healer, like, uh, the Greek guys, Heroism just becomes, like, exponentially better. Because now you have... Now all your sacreds are, um, like, four experience pips. So they get, like, what, plus, like, six, plus eight to their stats or whatever. It's just... You could justify taking this all the time. But I'm pretty happy with this bless. I'm pretty... Oh, wait. We dropped our scales. Or dropped our dominion. Because we reset. Hmm. What do we drop then? Go one more death. Pump that up. Can we do it twice? We can, and then we have 27 points. Mm -hmm. We specifically took this guy to get up to order three. So I don't want to do that. And going all the way down death three. I mean, supplies minus 40 is actually, it seems like it would be kind of good for us because we are kind of a quality over quantity faction. And um, the quantity not, uh, troops we do end up getting seem like they're undead, so we don't have to feed them. us right back where we were. Um, I think uh, this is the build. I assume that 3-3 three, three is enough to, for us to be able to make the seven of the sacred troops a turn. Or, you know, six plus the holy commander that we're built, whatever holy commander we're building at the time. It does give us some fire access. You can only use one trinket though, that kind of sucks. All right, let's go. Uh, Pablo Pilardo. And I think we're actually going to change up, but we'll do. So we have, what, uh, eight, 12 points worth of thrones, the eight. Because uh, my games are going. My games do go a little short if you, like, get lucky. Or not even if you get lucky, if just things, you know, don't go awful. And that is preventing me from, like, doing more of the late game stuff. So I think this is the throne we're going to go for. Common enable. Yep, all the settings are good. We're going ahead and kick this off, and we'll be right back to start the game. 